be awake. The milk of the puppy. Drink. Come now. Drink, my lord. That's it. Roderick! My lady! No. I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. How is he? Will he live? Let him... <gasps> Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, you may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. See you again. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I thought oh, I lost oh. you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Come here, sister. How bad is it? <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. I look half as bad as I feel. Well, at least you look better than you did. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan didn't even resist. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. You can, Talia. I know you can. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Who do you think I am? I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. <sighs> Roderick! 
Patrick! Ugh. I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, Cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? That's it. Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the night's watch. Recruits at the gate! Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. By giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old croon over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. As a squire, I serve Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. 
And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed a man who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either, Garrett Tottle. How do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread! <sighs> There's fucking worms in it. The Lord White Hill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The White Hill soldiers always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight. Just like his own cunt. He has no fucking... Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> He's a had a run-in with Walder Frey, And he's you? leaning on a girl. I should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is a curse. Real shame about your leg, but my who lord. gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. Would. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. Get out of my way. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? Move! Now! Go on then, my lord. It's madness. You can't starve them out. We'll not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. 
Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking, if you walked again at all. It was highly probable. You call this walking? I can barely stand. Well, you're here at least. And a good thing, too. Indeed it is. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lords, please! Oh, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir stole... Ryland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, and we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helliver, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! A betrothed is coming to Ira. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. Talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Just handle it. Perhaps a few meals are in order, but no wine! It's a start, at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You have to be strong, Talia. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. 
Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. And the seal. Here you are. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah. It's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. Mira, you have been so patient, so loyal. Your loyalty will not go unrewarded. I'm seeing Grandmother today. She'll have some ideas about your brother's predicament. I'm sure she can help. She's subtle, but very effective. Thank you, my lady. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter... I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited... Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Sir Maynard? <sighs> The man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. 